Now let's uh, take one more example for the NFA to DFA conversion. So it says that uh, W, where W is element of AB star, <clears throat> and W contains AB. W contains AB. Okay. Now, if W contains AB, then uh, the language or the strings in this language will be only AB or it may be ABA or it may be ABB or it may be AAB or it may be BAB and so on and so forth. It will be the infinite language. So any string that contains AB has to be accepted by this automata. So for the uh, NFA, the smallest string AB should be accepted by this NFA. So the smallest string AB from A with a symbol A, I'll move to state number B. With a B, I'll move to the final state, which is the C state. In the start, I can get A and B, but in the end, if I get AB, that will be accepted. Similarly, if I get some symbols A and B, A or B after getting the AB, so that will remain in the final state. So this is a very simple automata or simple NFA. Let's try to convert this to DFA. So for conversion of this automata to the DFA, I'll have to design the transition table for the NFA first. So in the transition table, A is the start state and C is the final state. On getting A symbol, you may either move to A or you may go to B also. With B, you will remain at A. On B, with the small a symbol, it is not defined. So you write it phi or blank, whatever you like. On B, with uh, getting a symbol B, you will move to the C state. On C, and getting symbol A or B, you will remain at state number C only. So let's try to uh, draw the DFA for this. For DFA, the thumb rule says that you will always, always start with the start state. And whichever new state keep coming, you will show the transitions of that. So uh, state number A on symbol small a goes to AB and I'll make a new state, which is AB. On B, you remain at state number A. The new state that I got here is AB state. So I'll show the transition from state AB here. Now the state AB on getting a symbol small a. So in the NFA, you refer to the transitions from A and then you get referred to the transitions from B. So on symbol zero and zero. So A on zero goes to AB state and B on zero goes to no state. It means it is undefined file. So if you take up the union of these two, this will be AB. And now if you show the transition of AB state with the symbol one, you will have to refer to the NFA transition table. NFA transition table says that on one, I go to A, and in B with one, I go to state number C. Okay, so A and C, uh, not uh, one, but A and B, sorry. So A and B. Okay, so with B, you go to A and C, which means you will have to take up the union of these two. So AC is the new state that you're getting. Now we'll show up the transitions from AC state only. So AC state in the NFA, first with zero, uh, first with A and then with B. So A on small a symbol goes to AB state. C on small a symbol goes to C state. So if you take up the union of these two, you'll get ABC state. Now, uh, if you see the transition of uh, A and C with the symbol a small b, so A on a small b goes to A and C on small b goes to C state. So if you take up the union of these two, this will come out to AC. And then the new state here is ABC. I'll show the transition from ABC state now. So state number ABC with the symbol small a. So A goes to AB, B goes to phi and C goes to C. It means the union of these two will be these three will be ABC. Now ABC on small b. So A goes to A, C goes, B goes to C, and C also goes to C. So the transition will be to the new state, which is AC. 
Now, no new state has come in the DFA table in this row. So that's why we'll say that the transition table for the DFA is now complete. We'll now try to draw the state transition diagram. So in the state time transition diagram, A was the start state in the NFA. So the A will be the start state in the DFA also. In the uh, NFA, the final state was C. So any of the state which is containing C will be the final state. It means the AC and ABC will be the final state in the DFA. So A on small a goes to a state which is AB state. And A on small b goes to A state only. Now AB on a small a goes to AB state. And AB on small b goes to AC state. Now AC on small a goes to a state which is ABC. And AC on small b remains at itself. Now ABC on small a remains at ABC state only and on a small b it goes to AC state. Here the state AC and ABC are the final states. So let's make a double circle on this these states. So this is the automata for any string that contains AB. Fine. So this is the DFA for the given NP. So I hope you must have understood uh, this concept of how are, how are we converting the NFA to the DFA. We'll take more examples in the subsequent lectures. Thanks for watching.